So we're learning about how to structure web pages, and uh, we've seen that we can use semantic elements and uh, some of the semantic elements that we could use to structure content into different areas on a web page are uh, some tags, right? Like the header tag or the footer or side or section or article. Well, these tags evolved and they came into being because in the past, uh, before there are these tags, before there's a header, footer, side, section, article tag, people use things called divs and spans, right? So uh, in particular, for those different areas that you see right here, divs would have been used. And there would have been a div here with a class of header. There would have been a side here, or there would have been a div here with a class of a side. And, uh, and so they said, well, heck, let's just make them their own tags. So you still see divs being used, and you will still use divs. And, uh, and the book talks about, like, you know, where and when and the difference between using a div versus uh, using a semantic tag like header or footer or article. But um, if we go and view page source for this web page, you'll see, right, well, hey, there's a semantic tag, right? semantic tag right there. That's the header. But we also have a bunch of other divs. There's a div and there's a span. And so what's the difference between a div and a span? And um, you know, and how do we use a div? Um, so that takes us into learning about block versus inline elements. So uh, we'll learn more about you know, block versus inline elements in the next video. And then we'll also learn, um, learn uh, more about you know, uh, divs and spans and how they use them. But the first thing I want to do is I want to introduce you to divs and I don't want to overwhelm you. And I'm just giving you some like real, uh, you know, let me give you a tour of some of this stuff. And I want to show you some resources. And then when you start to apply it, when we start to do the practice stuff down here, you'll be like, oh, okay, this is all making sense wherever the next practice is. So just to give you the tour and give you the resources, you could go to GitHub and you could go and search for the username goes to 11 goes to 11 right there <laughs> and um and then you'll find me on github and then you could go to my repositories and then inside my repositories you could come down here to code academy html and you could go in there and you could get all of these different you could download this entire repository you could clone it in your desktop and you could have access to all these files and uh, having access to those files will allow you to open them up in WebStorm and you'll be able to see like here are all those different files and uh, there's something here called the box model and so um, the box model has some examples with divs and I've opened divs up so you can kind of just see oh that's what the div does and so I have some different areas here right I have a div here and I gave it color red, I have another div, I gave it color blue, green, and yellow. And so this is one way that you could do CSS, and we're going to learn more about CSS, is you could do your CSS right here inside a tag. You started off by saying, hey, the style is equal to, and then quotes, and then you just put in all of your different attributes and settings, and, um, and then a semicolon, and that's how you do it. So uh, I created divs, they're 50 width, 50 height, and um, and then I gave them a color. And so when I look at this, there we go. And these are all block elements, right? They're all block elements. So a block element takes up a line in and of itself, and then when another block element comes along, it gets its own line, and then another one, it gets the next line, and another one, it gets the next line. So I created different little areas with divs, and uh, and that's, that's what I did right there. I could also do, um, and by the way, here's a little information about some of the different settings. So um, <laughs> it could get a little bit technical. <laughs> so um, there, there are, we can change, uh, this is from Code Academy. So you should have already been through the Code Academy training and, and this should be a little bit of review, but uh, here are the different uh, notes from Code Academy. Um, so we looked at like doing things block. So basic div boxes, right, are, are just by default block. Um, so here's another example. Let's look at it. So there's another example of just block. And you'll notice here, I just have div ID one, two, three, four. Those are the IDs. And it's drawing off of a, a style sheet, which is located at CSS display block CSS. So if I go up to my CSS folder and choose display block CSS, I can see here that the display is set to block on those divs, all right? 
I could also set the display, so let's look at display inline block, display inline block. I could set it to inline block. Well, what's inline block? Well, let's take a look and see what it looks like. I actually think it's kind of cool. That's inline block. So it's a block element, but it made it uh, act, it act as if it's an inline element. <laughs> and so the inline element means that um, you know it's no longer taking up a line on its own. It's just going to be inline, right? One after the other. So that's display, display. Uh, where is it? My CSS. I closed it. It's display um, inline block. So that's how we got that to work. And then if you wanted to, you could also do display inline. So if we look at display inline, I set that to inline. And if we do display inline, it actually displays them all in line and it puts them all on top of each other. So that's one more setting you could do. And, uh, and then you could also do display none. And I've got four of them here. And with display none, display set to none, four of them means that uh, they don't show up at all. See, nothing showing. So um, all of that is, again, just to give you a tour, don't worry about like, oh my God, there's so much to learn. <laughs> Don't worry about that, right? It's all gonna come naturally and I'm just exposing you to it. I'm giving you a tour and there's some resources here. You can download this stuff and you can go through it. And if you haven't been through the Code Academy training yet, go do it. <laughs> Cause that's really, that's really gonna help you out. And when you go do the Code Academy training, uh, you can download, you know, all this stuff here from, uh, from GitHub and you'll have all these files that I put together when going through the Code Academy training. And so you could like, okay, well, let me open that up in WebStorm and, and look at the code in WebStorm and play with it in WebStorm, which is different than playing with it on the Code Academy platform. So really great resources. And what we're learning, just to keep things simple, is that, hey, we could divide a page up and we could use semantic tags like this, or we could just use divs. And uh, the best method, the best practice is to use semantic tags in the old days, people just used divs, and um, and that entire thing I just showed you, <laughs> the code academy stuff, was just to kind of expose you, like, look at what divs do. They create little blocks, just like these are blocks, and it puts them on a page, and you could choose a setting on that to display block. You could choose display inline block. You could choose display inline. You could choose display none, and those are just some of the settings on display that you choose to determine how does that div, that block element, right? How does that div, that, where is it? That block element, how does that operate? And so uh, the main thing you should take away from this video is that there are divs and divs create sections, areas in your web page. And the best practice is to try to use semantic uh, tags such as header, footer, aside, section, article to create those sections. But if you need to create some sort of a little section in your, your web page and none of these apply, then you can use a div. So that's the takeaway from this video.